hello guys welcome to my channel my name is vivian today's video is all about how to cut and sew this parazo trouser you are seeing here if this is what you're interested in learning please stay with me and let's get started first fold your fabric into two like i did so as you can see here, i've already drawn a line and that will guide me through the measurement and this side also the folded part of this material i've measured that one inch allowance okay from this folded side all the way down now the first measurement i'll be taking is my crash measurement and my crash measurement is 11. i posted a video that i showed how to take your crash measurement if you haven't watched that video you can go ahead the title of the video is how to sew joggers how to cut and sew joggers so after drawing the straight line this is just a palazzo trouser so we don't need much measurements if it's a basic pencil trouser that's when you need all this knee length and all that but this is a palazzo trouser and it's very very simple now you notice i'll be taking my measurement from this one inch mark here from this line that's when i'm that's where i'll be taking my measurement so the first measurement i'm going to take now is my waist measurement that's the circumference of my waist and that's my waist measurement divided by four okay and after i'm at that i'm going to also add one inch here and that will serve as that also extra one inch for sewing allowance and that will make it a total of two inches extra okay one inch for that and one inch for sewing allowance now i'll take the full measurement of this waist whatever i got there that's my waist measurement plus the two inches i added i will calculate it together whatever it gives me is what i'll be marking here on the crash line and that will serve as the circumference of my crash okay so now i'm going to go ahead and connect these two lines together so now I'll go ahead and mark my hip measurement on this same line and i'll be taking the measurement from this folded part and not that line okay remember i took my waist measurement from that line and my crush measurement from that same line but my hip measurement i'll be taking it right from where i folded that material and not from that line okay so from that place i'm going to mark my hip measurement divided by four okay and extra one inch for sewing allowance then from this point now i'm going to draw a line just like this i'll draw out a line like this okay then from this place to this place i will measure them to know the distance and here i have about um 2.5 inches so i'll divide it by two when i divide it by two i will then mark whatever i got here okay and that is the point i'll be using to curve this crush line so i'll go ahead and curve it like this so on that my hip measurements whatever i got there is what i'll be marking on this hem side whatever i measured on that hip side i'll go ahead and measure it here and that is basically all for the measurement of this trouser so we just have to go ahead and connect the line so we have to connect from here from this crash point all the way to the hemming side and we're almost done with the measurement of this trouser so the next thing i'll go ahead and do is to shaping this hip side to make it look kind of curvy okay so as i place my ruler like this i have to go ahead and curve it all the way to the hip side to make it have that hip shape because it can't be just straight like that so after covering it now the next thing is to go ahead and cut the trouser and that's basically all you can see that this Parazzo trouser to draft it is kind of very simple. Then I'll go ahead and trace this line and cut it. And when I get here, I'll just have to open it up. And that's all. So now we'll have to take out our dart. Remember, we added one inch for that. So now we we'll have to measure our dart. From this side, I'll come in by four inches. And how I got that four inches is my boss span. That's my nipple to nipple measurement divided by 2. And that's 8. I divided by 2. That's 4. I'll come in by 4 from this side. And the dart length will be around 5 inches. I'll mark it here. When I'm done marking it, I'll go ahead and draw a straight line. Just like this. 
then from that same line i'll come out by half inch this side and also this side i'll come out by half inch then i'll go ahead and connect those two lines down to where the dart line stopped so after now i'll just go ahead and give it a little notch and that's all for the front pattern we'll go ahead and cut the back pattern so guys my fabric is already on fold and i've gone ahead to place this front pattern here okay as you can see is placed on the line i just drew like one inch allowance so i'll go ahead and mark the waist line so from here from this cross line i'm going to extend this line just this way, okay then i'll go ahead and add extra two inches okay for the cross line if you're on a bigger side you can add 2.5 or 3 depending on the size so here again i'm going to also extend this line and i'll be adding half inches from here and i'll use it to curve the line and join it to the waist so now because i don't want this palazzo trouser to be that big i'm just going to blend this line inward like this you can go ahead and add extra inches if you want it big so i'll just blend and then cut so now the remaining thing is to work on the waist side we'll have to slope the waist side else when you're wearing it it will be hanging so for us to do that we'll have to come down by one inch here and then connect it slant the ruler and connect it to this we hip line okay same thing for the back side from here come down by one inch then go ahead and connect it this way okay connect the line together then go ahead and trim it and we're almost done with the trouser okay so now i have to notch my dart for the front side and also for the back side i'll go ahead and notch my dart then we'll start with the stitching aspect of the trouser first we'll have to go ahead and stitch the cross side stitch it from waist still down here and also here i'll go ahead also stitch my dart here so now i'm done stitching it and you can see how needs the is looking it's not packing at all here it's not packing because the crash is well curved so now i'm going to place the back side on the front side like this i'll arrange it very well arrange it and make sure everything aligns together okay jo hold the line like this and i'm going to go ahead and join the two legs together the inside part of it and also this one so now guys i'm done joining this side together the remaining thing is to go ahead and work on the side i'll go ahead and join the side then by this side i'm putting zip and also you know for the waist side i'm not putting band if you have to put band you have to remove two inches when you are measuring it so for this i'm going to use a bias to turn it so for this side i'll be adding zipper then i'll go ahead and stitch other side so guys after i'm done adding zipper and turning the waist this is how it's looking and i love how beautiful this trouser is i just love it if you watched till this end please help me subscribe to my channel if you are yet to do so like this video and drop a comment and also turn on your notification button so whenever i post a video like this you'll get notified thank you